Hi everyone, and welcome to the beginner's flow. My name is Yen, and today our flow will focus on stretching and focusing on to move your body with your breath. If you just started doing yoga, no problem. I will also give some options. Now let's start to take a deep breath. Sit comfortably. Now take a huge breath. Feel for your breath expanding the rib cage. You can gently open your eyes and put your gaze somewhere in front of you, not too far, but softly focused. When you are inhaling, you feel the expansion in your rib cage, especially the back and the side of your ribs. When you exhale, gently pull the belly button towards the spine. You are already engaging your abdominal muscles by doing that. Huge breath, feel for your breath is ballooning up your entire rib cage and lift it up, up away from your sit bones. When you exhale, give yourself a nice relaxing move. Move your shoulders away from the ears. Feel for the neck getting longer as you're exhaling. Two more deep breaths like that. And then gently open your eyes if you haven't yet. Let's first work on side bend. With your left leg straight, right foot inside of your left inner thigh. In case your hamstring is bothering you, you can always bend this straight leg and this foot just comfortably staying on the mat. Now let's do stretching the left side first. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Lengthening the left side, even move your other hands away from your hips. Get the left side really long. And then as you exhale, keep the long left side. Reach your arms forward and over to the left. Reach the right arm over your ears. Take a huge breath into the entire right side of your torso. When you exhale, anchor down with both sit bones and keep softening your neck and elbows, both elbows. Breathing into your body and you can even move around a little bit, especially if this is the first thing you're doing in the day and feel for which part of your body needs a little bit more attention. So instead of, instead of rigidly staying in pose, make it move and move with your breath. Two more deep breaths in this stretch. Next inhale, neck release. Your right arm go towards the right sit bones hover above the floor. And now in this position, I'm going to use the variation of straightening my left leg. Whatever you are, reach through the left big toe mount. So you're reaching forward and the inner legs gets activated. In this position, take a huge breath into the right side of your neck, your jaw. You can even look down into the mat. Open a little gap in between your lips and your upper and lower palate teeth. Make sure your jaw is soft. And just feel that luxury stretch on the right side of your neck. Maybe start from the base of your ear, all the way gliding towards the shoulder and even reaching towards your right fingertips. Just breathe here. Can you get your breath longer each time? 
Next inhale, reach through your right arm, pull yourself back. After a long stretch of the neck, sometimes I like to do my hand on the cheek, help neck come back to center. Now next, inhale, turn your chest towards the center line of both legs and move your hands forward, coming into a gentle forward bend. And of course, the option for more deeper bend forward bending is to turn towards your straight leg. So you have an option to do this or just stay in the center. Whatever you are next, inhale, lift the belly away from your sit bones and lift your chest away from your belly. The entire torso is very long. As you exhale, gently bend your elbows, come down. Let your neck be soft and starting breathe, breathing into the back of your neck, entire spine, and feel for even the sacrum area gets the breath coming in. And your next inhale, gently walk your hands back. So remember, no popping up action. Be gentle with your body. If your legs were straight, your left leg was straight, use your hand to help your knee to bend. Keep breathing when you're transitioning between sides. Let's do the second side. Right leg straight, your right leg straight. Heel into inner thigh. Now take a huge breath in, lengthen the right arm into uh, towards the sky. And then reach it long. Getting the stretch on the entire right side. With that long right side of your body, go glide into a side bend. And remember, you can always bend your knees. So this side, I'm doing the straight leg variation for the entire sequence. Take a huge breath into the left side of your lower back, lower ribs. As you exhale, anchor down with both sit bones and stretch longer. Again, make your movement or actually make your pose fluid. No rigidity. Finding the most comfortable position for your body to stretch. Soften your jaw. And you enjoy your own time with your breath. Focus your attention onto your breath and how your breath traveling in your body. Neck release. Next inhale, left arm go towards the left side of your torso. Let your left hand hover above the floor. Take a huge breath into the left side of your neck, shoulder, and feel for that sensation, tingling feeling all the way from the base of your left ear, gliding towards your hand. And you just enjoy and breathe. Two more deep breaths here. And your next inhale, pull yourself back when torso is in the center. No matter you're using your hands or not, make sure the head is the last to come up. And then inhale, turn your torso towards the center line of your both legs. Lengthen out, anchor down with your sit bones and walk your hands towards the front coming into a forward bend. It doesn't have to be very deep. Again, let's do the same action. Inhale, lift the belly away from your pubic bone and then lift the rib cage away from your belly. If you need to do one more breath in to lift everything off, do that. As your front line of the body getting really long, spine long, and then you come back down by bending your elbows as far as you're feeling the comfortable stretch. Reaching with 
your right big toe mounts to activate your inner legs. Especially on the straight leg side. And then next, inhale, walk your hands back. Again, use your hands to help you knee to come back to center. And turn on to your hands and knees. Let's come on to tabletop position. Make sure to check your wrist is under the shoulders. Both hands, shoulder views apart. Knees under the hips. And both knees also hip width apart. Before we're moving into cat and cow, this is a tabletop position. So avoid sinking your belly into this, in this position. Make sure you tuck the tailbone a little bit towards your heels or towards the navel. Keep your spine parallel to the floor. Now moving to cat and cow. Inhale, cow pose. Gently bend your spine down, belly sinking down towards the mat. Your shoulder blades can come together. Gently tuck the tailbone opposite direction towards the ceiling. As you exhale, push your hands down. Anchor whatever part of your leg is on the mat and reach your entire upper back, middle back, lower back up towards the ceiling. This is the forward bend phase. Inhale, go back to the back bend phase. Exhale, push. So follow with your own breath. You can even stay in one position for one or two more breaths, if that, especially if that feels really good for your spine right now. Move smoothly, feel for every direction. You can move each vertebrae. Let's do two more rounds. Your next inhale, coming back to neutral spine. Diagonal stretch. Next inhale, anchor down with both feet and push down with your left hand. Right arm reaching overhead, parallel to the floor. Your next exhale, and this time you need to use the core a little more because we are extending the right leg back. So opposite hands, opposite leg, reaching away from each other. Inhale, expanding the rib cage. As you exhale, gently pull the belly button towards the spine and reach long. Make sure the distance between your right fingertips and your left toes are the maximum you can do. Inhale, release both hands down. Coming back to tabletop position. Take an extra breath. Next, inhale, push your right hand down. Let's do the other side. Left arm over, over the ears, parallel to the floor. And then reach your opposite leg back. Again, you want to really get long in this pose. Push the right hands down so that you can lift the weight off your right shoulder. Every time, exhale, gently tuck the tailbone towards your navel and hug the belly in. Let your core help you. And reach. And gently release. Now take an extra breath here, catch your breath, and then let's go to downward facing dog. Especially if this is the first down dog of the day, and step your leg side to side, feeling for the stretch at the back of your leg. Next, inhale, gently come forward into a plank position. This needs a little bit more core strength. What you need to remember is keep pushing the hands down. Lift the chest away from the mat. And of course, you can put your knees down. Next, inhale, move the entire torso forward. Tuck the tailbone towards your heels. From the knee 
to the head is one straight line. As you exhale, bend your elbows down, modify Chaturanga all the way down. Next, inhale, move your hands forward, thumbs at eyebrow level, reach your legs back and come up into a low cobra position, reaching the tailbone back, legs are strong, don't let your legs fly away, reach them back, lower back long, chest forward, and next exhale, keep a long spine, strong legs, come back down, push back, downward facing dog. Next, inhale, couple of steps, coming forward at the front of the mat. As you exhale, gently bow forward. In a forward bend, you can make it easier for yourself, just let your knees gently bend. If your hands are not comfortably on the mat, put your hands on the shin, so it's not dangling, and then you'll have some anchor. Next, inhale, wherever you are, lift your chest away from the legs. So this is hands on shin version. This is hands on mat version. Lengthen out. As you exhale, bend your elbows, come back down, bow deeper. Anchor your both feet down into the mat. Next, inhale, curl yourself back up. Exhale, hands at heart. Let's flow. Reach your arms down. Shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend your knees and gently bow forward. Inhale, left leg back, left knee down and come up. You can reach your arms overhead or just simply put your both hands on the front side. Feeling for the strong legs and gently sinking down. Send the front sit bone, that was the right sit bone, towards the direction of your right heel to lengthen down. And for those who need a little bit support, of course you can stay here with the back Hip, back hip a little bit more higher away from the mat. So take a couple of breaths here. And next inhale, put your both hands down on the mat, step back, plank, we just did plank. Option, both knees down on the mat. Inhale, move your chest forward, entire torso forward. Engaging your belly, bend your elbows back, coming all the way down through modified chaturanga. Reach your legs back, again moving the hands forward, thumbs at eyebrow level on the side of your face. Inhale, chest forward and up, reaching the tailbone and legs back. And next exhale, keep spine long, coming down. Push back, downward facing up. Next, inhale, step your left foot forward. Right knee down. Same posture, second side. Options, reach your arms up, or just gently put your hands on the front thigh, or move your hips back up a little. All the choices, listen to your body. So take a position on an option that you can breathe in. Take a couple of breaths here, getting really comfortable into your stretch. Next, inhale, hands down. Step forward, forward bend. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands at heart. So the next round, we're going a little faster. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, right leg back, right knee down. Coming up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, step back, plank. Take your option, knees down. Whatever you are, inhale, move your chest forward. Exhale, bend your elbows all the way down, straight spine. Reach the legs back. Hands move forward. Inhale, chest up and reaching forward. Exhale, come down. Push back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward, 
Left knee down. Come up. Exhale, hands down. Step forward. Four bend. Inhale, reach up. Feel that you're growing taller with each breath. Exhale, hands at heart. Release your hands down. Inhale, come into chair. Gently tuck the tailbone towards the back end of the mat. Move your knees back a little so you can see all your ten toes. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lengthen the chest away from, the mat, from your legs. Excuse me. And exhale, bow back. Palms on the mat. Step back into plank. Knees up or knees down. Chaturanga all the way down. This time, let's do boat. Interlace your fingers behind the back of your sacrum. If it's difficult to interlace your fingers, grab a towel. You can grab towel at the back. It gives you the same benefit. Inhale, expanding the rib cage and lift everything that can be off the mat. Instead of looking for the height, rather go into the lengthening. Reach the legs back. Relax the back of your neck. Lengthen. Gently squeeze your shoulder blades together. Helps you to open up the chest. Exhale, come down. Push back, downward facing dog. Inhale, you step your, your left foot forward, coming into warrior two position. Warrior two, check your alignment. Front ankle going aligned with the inner back arch. Arms parallel to the floor, shoulders away from the ears. Also, another important indicator is your knee. Your knee needs to be right on top of your front ankle, not over. This will be protecting your knee joint. Inhale, gently straighten your front leg. Exhale, sit a little bit lower. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, sit a little lower. Reverse warrior. Inhale, back arm up. Lengthen your right side. As you exhale, go back. Left arm over the ears. Your legs are still in warrior two shape. Now take a huge breath in. Lengthen the entire left side. And in this pose, you can take an easier option, which is back hand on your hips and front arm go towards hovering above the floor. And enjoy. Your next inhale, if you are arming arm over your ear, also coming into this position. And then reach the front arm to pull yourself back. Exhale, extended warrior variation. Left forearm on the thigh, and the other arm goes up towards the ceiling first. So reach your right arm up, adding chest opener. Inhale, lengthen the left side of your torso, so the lower side. As you exhale, push down with your left forearm, lift the weight of your left shoulder, and roll the left side of your rib cage up towards the ceiling. Feel the stretch on the left side, on the, excuse me, your right side of the chest. And next, inhale, gently come back. Step back. Let's just go to downward facing dog. Stretch your back. So for those who want a little rest, you can stay in down dog. The other option is Coming into plank, chaturanga, knees up or knees down, and come up cobra or low cobra. Coming down and go back to downward facing dog so that we can do the other side. I'm going to change down dog. Next inhale, you step your right foot forward. Same sequence, one more time. 
check your alignment. Huge breath in, straighten your right leg. Exhale, sit lower. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Strongly working into your legs. And then coming back into warrior two. Reverse warrior. Inhale, back arm, your left arm reaching up. And as you exhale, reach back. Remember, your easier option is in this shape. Huge breath into the front side of your body, which is your right side, rib cage, lower back. As you exhale, can you relax your neck a little more? Next, inhale, everyone coming into front arm, hover above the floor. So your right arm and your next inhale pull yourself back into warrior two and then coming into extended warrior variation with chest opener pushing down with your right elbow so that you're not leaning on the shoulder joints free up your joints inhale lift the chest lengthening the front line of your torso exhale push down and roll the right side of your rib cage up towards the ceiling. Open the chest. Good. And next, inhale, coming back. Downward facing dog. Next round, inhale, left foot forward, coming into pigeon. In this pigeon, you're sitting on the, your left side. Oh, actually, I'm going to change side so you're having a better reference. So you are sitting on your left side and left shin parallel to the front end of the mat. Bend your back knee as much as you need to. Chest towards the foot and you're just coming down, breathe into your hips. Instead of bending and want to go down like this, lengthen the spine. Again, belly away from your sit bones. Stretch out. Activate your front foot, so it feels like you're stepping on something with your foot to protect your knee. Next, inhale, gently come back. Pigeon towards the thigh. So just walk your hands back towards your thigh. But you are not opening the hip this way. Roll the right side of your hip down towards the mat. You feel a really nice stretch on the entire right side of your torso. Elbows down on the mat or not. If you can't see me, you can do this on that side or just stay up. And next inhale, gently walk your hands back towards the center. Without even coming up, let's just twist to the other side. Now your right leg is, right shin is parallel to the front end of your mat. Sitting on the right side, bend the back leg as much as you need to. Chest towards foot. Inhale, lift the belly, rib cage. As you exhale, bow forward. You can even just stay up here as long as, you, as, long as you're feeling the stretch and the opening in your hips. Give yourself and your body time to get used to this position. No rushing, no pushing. Breathe into it. Next, inhale gently, walk your hands back. Let's turn towards the thigh. 
keeping the left hip going down towards the mat so you're not leaning back this way. Roll forward and then walk your hands back. You should feel the stretch all the way from your back toes on the entire right side. And breathe into it. Gently roll. If you need more stretch, you're feeling more, more space to stretch more, roll the right hip down a little. And then walk your hands back. And then gently come back. breathe and transition. So coming into sitting on your sit bones, knees bent, hands back, make sure your wrist is very comfortable when you're supporting yourself. Open your feet met with apart, inhale lengthen the chest, exhale gently roll both legs towards your left side, inhale come back, Exhale, other side. One more. Move with your own breath. And walk your hands forward. Straighten your legs. Good job, everyone. Now is the best part of the practice. Savasana. So before you come down, making sure that your legs are wider as wide as the mat and let your legs just flop out naturally supporting yourself lying down after you're completely lying down on the mat relax your shoulders some of us may feel a little bit compressing in the lower back area what you do is gently lift your buttocks up tuck the tailbone towards your navel you feel the lower back gets comfortably on the mat making sure the shoulders away from the ears. Neck stay in the neutral position. So don't let your neck go to the side. You want your entire spine is naturally straight. And then just lie down here. Soften your breath. Close your eyes. Use this time to go inside. Stay here at least a minute. And if you have the luxury to stay longer, do that. Whenever when you're coming up, bend your knees first. And then turn onto your side without popping your head up. You can stay on the side for a bit and then use upper arm, push yourself back up, head heavy, finding your comfortable position, sitting up, hands at heart. Take a couple of breaths, just feel how pleasant it is after a short practice, your breath, take your body, move around. Thank you for following this class. See you next time. Namaste.